See, most people hate the idea of budgeting because when you go to Chipotle and the server asks you, do you want to buy some extra guac? And you think, hmm, should I pay the $1.50? I mean, $2.65 for the extra guac. Now you have to create this complex calculation that is this $2.65 going to fit within my food budget? And then if I didn't pay the $2.65 today, how much would that be worth if I compounded that in the S&P 500 over the next 10 years? And so you have to go through all this complex questioning and thought in order to make a basic purchase. Now, I don't recommend what I do to anybody else, but I probably have the simplest budget known to mankind because my budget is don't spend money that isn't in my bank account. But it's probably not the way that you think. Let me show you. The way it works for me is systems and automations. What that means is I make money from my business and my investments. And when I make this money, it hits this checkings account right here. I'm gonna call it C to keep it simple. But then I have systems and automations in place where money is automatically pulled out of this money, which is going to be, we'll call it I invested. And I also have money that's automatically pulled out that's going to be saved. Now it does get a little bit more complex because I have multiple different investments here and I also have different savings goals here, different savings accounts here. Some of this investment money is put into a bank account that's holding money that's going to be invested in the stock market. Some of this investment money is sitting in a bank account that's going to be invested in the real estate market. Some of this investment money is sitting in an account that's going to be invested in startups. Some of the savings money is there to protect me against an emergency. Some of the savings money is there to make a bigger purchase. Now you're gonna say, well, just breathe. I don't have all this money coming in. I don't have money to put into all these different you don't have to do all that. But listen, it's about separating and automating because now I have money that I know is going to be invested. I have money that I know is going to be saved. I just put it in a different place. Some people call it a folder system. Some people call it an envelope system. I use bank accounts. I have a different bank account for certain types of money, right? This money is going to be used for a specific thing. That way, this money that's left over, this is my spending money. Now, my budget is essentially don't spend money that's not in here because the money that's not in here has a purpose. It has a goal. It's gonna be invested. It's gonna be put into the business. It's gonna be used for my emergency protection. It's gonna be used to purchase a home. It's gonna be used to buy these types of things where I just use a different bank account. That way that money I know is not gonna be spent. This is the money that I can spend. Now, the reason why this can become very difficult is because well, it requires you not to spend all the money that you make because the reality is your budget is there. That way you don't spend all of your money. Because if you spend all your money in your homes, your cars, your shoes, and your vacations, now you have no more money to invest, you have no more money to save, well, now that's where you need a budget to tell you, hey, you got to put some money into your investments. Hey, you need to put some money into your savings. And I was doing this before you knew about Minority Mindset, before you knew about Briefs Media. This was something that was important to me because I realized that this is where your wealth is built. Your wealth is built through your investments. Your wealth is not built through how much money you make. Your wealth is not built through your savings. Your wealth is not built through all the cool things that you purchase, although that's what I thought initially. Your wealth is built through your assets and your investments, and in order for you to own more investments, you gotta take the money that you're earning, not spend it, and buy more of these investments. Because if you look at the wealthiest people in the world, what do they do? They own stocks, they own real estate, they own businesses. This is what wealthy people do. So if you want to become wealthy, you got to kind of follow what the wealthy people do. You want to own stocks, and you want to own real estate, rental properties, and you want to own businesses. But in order to do that, it takes money. And guess what? If you have a job, if you have a business, well, you have money coming in. Now, if you spend all that money on Gucci, on the extra guac, on the BMWs, on the vacations to Cancun, you look rich because all your money's coming out of here and you can show it off on Instagram and you have all the nice stuff, but you have none of this, which is actually going to make you wealthy. And the interesting thing about this is when you buy these, you can't show it off. When I go out and I invest in stocks, well, Nobody really knows or cares because, well, it's just sitting there in my stock market portfolio, but I see it because when I get those dividends, I get the notification saying I got paid. When I buy a rental property, I don't get to show anything off, but I see it when I get the rental payments every single month. Versus if I went out and I bought myself a brand new Gucci belt, then I could tuck in my shirt and show off my belt all day and night long here on YouTube. And you're going to think, wow, this guy just beneath is so cool. He has a nice Gucci belt. He must be so rich. But in reality, 
those things make you look rich, but they really make somebody else rich. Now, I'm not saying don't have nice things, don't buy nice things, don't buy luxury things, don't buy expensive things. I want you to have all the nice and expensive and luxury things. All I want is for you to make yourself rich first, because unfortunately, our system is designed for you to make everybody else rich, and then you have no money left over for yourself. I mean, this is what really a budget is all about. Stop making everybody else rich before you make yourself rich, because when you go and spend a dollar, that dollar goes to somebody else. Now, there's nothing wrong with that because you want to have nice things. You want to have value. You have to eat. You need clothes on your back. You need a car to get to and from work. But when you spend all of your money and then some with credit because your budget doesn't exist, well, now you are making everybody else rich at your expense. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.